we are working with the ball underneath our side, underneath the rib cage. So lying on the side, stretch out the bottom arm. Bottom knee bent for some support, but you can straighten it, get it longer, 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 longer. Um, entirely depends on what your balance is like. And look at that face, just a beautiful long side stretch there. Bottom hand can cradle your head and I just lift up and down. So if you see where I place my top arm, that's where I'm aiming to move from. The ribs slide down and then they go over the ball. So the feeling is where my hand is there, sort of heart area, sternum. That's where I curve from. My hips are trying to stay as still as possible and I'm really working through the thoracic as I go. Arm stretches out and now I can move my leg and this gives you a big arch over the ball and then I can do everything together. So arm, big stretch, lift leg, lift arm and the arm on the ground will slide a little bit as you come up. Bit of pressure on it will also give you some assistance and oh, closing my eyes because it's super sunny and also often when I train and things like this I do close my eyes simply because I tune in. So then leg forward leg back so we've done this pattern on other exercises now with the ball I have more challenge to rotate. Head can go down head could come up as I sort of say there try both. Main thing is whichever one you're doing you're keeping the pelvis beautifully still. So I've got leg circles there, great on the hip joint, arm in the air, arm overhead. Explore and challenge. That's always my um, request. Because if you do, you'll discover new things about your body. So leg circles one way, leg circles the other. And then we come to the other side, seeing the back view. You're going to have to play a little bit again with where you place the ball. Each of us are individual, but it's not the waist. We're placing it into the ribs and hopefully this way, what you'll see is where my hand is, that's where I'm thinking of curving from. So it's a side bend through the upper back. The head starts to come up and then the rest of the body follows through. Hand behind, elbow forward and you can just start to see my back going into um, a side curve. And long through the legs so the hip doesn't want to come up and it's the ribs sliding down towards the waistline. Great, great, great. Um, core oblique movement. Um, a side, this is way that we don't often very often move in, so it's good to get that. Arm stretches overhead, lift into it all and down. So you're trying to create like a crescent moon shape with your back if you like. Big stretch on the way down through the leg over to the arm. If that bottom arm comes off the floor, you're going to see me wobble a little bit more. So try it if it's not right there yet put it down, try it again the next time. So that leg kick, spine, the lower back there, staying as still as you can keep it. Basically you're trying to move at the leg, not let the spine dictate the movement, which is a different option. Depends on if we're isolating or integrating. Here I've integrated my upper body by lifting up. Again, I need to lift my chin slightly up there. Leg circles one way, leg circles the other. Great, using the ball, as I say in the other videos, massively good challenge. <laughs>